our job is to recognize them and make the most of them i look back on all the things that i've done and i marvel at the opportunities that came my way miss india miss world when i was in bareilly in army school my first film offer my first music single the first film i actually produced I love how she uses her hands so naturally to emphasize her points. When she says all of the opportunities, she sweeps her hand to indicate there are a lot of opportunities. When she wants to point out something specific, she makes the point very tight and small so that you're focused on her hands and on a singular point. When she talks about a particular opportunity that she received, my opportunity, she points at herself. She brings her hands towards her to show how passionate she is about that. That's just really powerful techniques that you can implement when you're speaking too. Let's keep going. There was never a plan, ever. More like the universe sort of guiding me towards these opportunities. All I had to do was recognize them and make sure I worked so hard that I squeezed every drop out of these opportunities. You can see it. I worked so hard. She's putting her fist out like this to show that she's determined. She's saying, squeeze out those opportunities as though she's squeezing out all of the water out of a wet rag. Again, use your gestures to synchronize with your content. This, ladies and gentlemen, is called drive. It's called ambition. So no matter where you are in life, rule number three is you have never arrived enough to explore new opportunities. So powerful how she says drive, ambition. You know, you want to be careful with pointing your finger at somebody else, but when you're emphasizing a critical point, and you have a lot of passion behind it, it doesn't hurt to use this. And she numbers her points, number three. So this is like a signpost for your audience to be aware of where are they in the course of hearing your speech.